What's up, everybody? Richard and Adam back today for another reaction video. And today, we are checking out... They actually just dropped this on the same day that we're recording these reactions, which is Monday, January... What is it, the 18th? Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, this is Our Eternity and their track, Bloodstained. Which is interesting now, because new music typically drops on Fridays. Yeah, but when it's, you know, let's, let's you know, it's, called, it's a side project. So when it's a side project of two very well-known guys... Chris Wiseman of Currents and Shadow mm -hmm. of Intent and Ryan Kirby of Fit for a King, they can drop music whenever they want. So this is their side project, which I've heard is Deathcore. Um, okay. And I am very interested to see what these gentlemen have in store for us. So here we go. All right. This is Our Eternity, Bloodstained. Kind of uh it's gonna be heavy, I can feel. Yeah. I see a sorrow, I feel the pain inside. I feed off your fear when you're afraid to die. When the sky turns black and all your veins run cold, I will be the one to swallow you. Oh, that shadow of intense synthiness. It's like an in-between of Currents and Shadow of Intent. You're gonna get a nice little breaky breaky? No, not this type of song. Oh, I think you might be wrong. Okay. Hmm. 
side project here from uh, Ryan Kirby of Fifer King and Chris Wiseman of Shadow of Intent and Currents. Our Eternity, Bloodstained. What did you think? Um, so I don't know about you, but I really thought the screams here sounded like Danny Filth from Cradle of Filth. Well, yeah, I remember seeing and I some, liked it. I remember seeing some of Ryan Kirby's uh, Twitch streams where he was like, "Yeah, I got to dust off kind of like the deathcore kind of vocals," and not that these were like, I mean, but they had a little bit more like that wasn't to me that wasn't deathcore no. vocals. That was that was like black metal, it was like, like symphonic oh. metal vocal, which perfectly fine. I thought it was awesome. Um, I loved the tone. Um, I loved th- his cleans as well. Um, was that him or was that Chris? Because I, I was trying to make out. I, it sounded like it sounded like Ryan's. It could be. It, it I was just try, I was like, trying to make it out. I couldn't tell. It, it, but. To me, it sounded like Ryan. Uh, I yeah. could be wrong. You might um, be probably right, but yeah. I I I liked it. I thought the guitar work was sick. Uh, I I agree with you. It was kind of like a, an in between between Shadow of Intent and Currents. Um, I thought it would be a little. Heavier, less technical. Yeah, well, yeah. Just so, and, and yeah. I'm only going based on what you've told me because I had zero expectations going into it. I thought I thought it would be heavier too, just from what I like. Like I said, like I. Like I mean, Ryan we're sitting has, here talking like it's not heavy. I mean, right, it's heavy. I mean, it's heavy. But like I when when I heard Ryan on his his Twitch stream, he was saying you know you know brushing off the deathcore vocal. So I was expecting some like something a little bit more like like. Yeah, I guess you could consider that high. I mean, I don't want to say consider like I'm some sort of, you know, genre expert, but I I mean, it definitely fits deathcore, but I I pulled out of from the tone, I pulled out more of like a black it, metal Danny Filth type it, tone personally. It, to me it kind of reminded me and I think this is a band that actually works either with Chris or with Randy Pascarella, one of the two. Um, and I haven't heard much of them, so I could be wrong here, but it kind of reminded me of that band that we've done a few times before I turn um, kind of like you know that okay. sy- that symphonic synthy kind of stuff. Um, you know it, it had a it had a decent pace to it. Some of the times it was just kind of like just trucking along, and then I was I was really glad we got a breakdown. I wasn't sure. I I I thought they would switch it up and not do it. Yeah, I, I I'm glad it. that they did because I really liked that breakdown. It wasn't anything you know insane or anything like that. But right. It was just a nice, just oomph. Oof. I thought it was a solid track. Uh, I mean, was it was it Currents or Fit for a King or Shadow of Intent? No, which but, is good because we already have those three we, bands. Exactly. Right. So, uh, right. But uh, but that's what a lot of people I think will probably be like. All right, here we go. But see, that's what I like about it. I like yeah. that it's different. It's I like different. that it's, I, it's like in that middle. If of, you didn't tell me that was Ryan Kirby and Chris Wiseman, I wouldn't have guessed that. And that's what I like about a side project like this. Yeah, I agree. I thought it was a, a solid track. Very yep. solid. I'm looking forward to more. Me that too. Was, that was fun. Love it. Anyways, guys, you see all around us. We've got all of our usernames, all of our social media, including our Twitch and our Patreon as well. All those links are below. Until the next one. Peace. Peace.